G'day YouTube. Today we're going to be installing the ceiling, I hope. So we've made these um, beams which are cut out of our um, lightweight plywood. These are going to be what we're going to be screwing the ceiling into. And so these beams will be bolted onto the beams in the van. We've got an inlet here we need to install. So before we install the ceiling, we need somewhere for the cables from the roof to come down into the van. And I've just been trying to figure out where to put them. The other thing we bought yesterday is our ceiling. So the ceiling is going to be made out of uh, this foam board, which uh, is available in black or white. These were $25 a sheet, 2.4 by 1.2 meters. And the reason we chose black is because we're going to have a, a slatted ceiling. So wanted the gaps between the slats to be black. Now we're not using these slats. These are going to be our ribs that we screw everything into, but it just gives a rough idea of what it's going to look like. And uh, I reckon it'll look awesome. All right, I've been trying to figure out where to put this uh, hole in the roof to feed the solar cables through. There's a few issues. One, we need a decent width of flat piece of roof and the only real flat bit is around this part here. This isn't quite wide enough, it's slightly curved here. Then there's ribs here and then this flat bit here, which would be quite good, uh, it won't fit underneath the rail for the solar panels that's there. So, now the problem with just drilling a hole here, the insulation is going to be put over the top of that. What I could do is drill a hole th through the roof, through this beam here. And it just so happens the hole saw I was going to use does fit through there. So I might do that. Put a hole here. We've got three cables to go through there. We've got uh, the solar cables, which is just one cable for the solar panels. We've got one power cable, because we're going to put a LED light bar along the top. And then we've got one ethernet cable, which is going to be running a, a, a camera up there so that we can see what we're reversing into. All right, just like that, we've got a hole in the ceiling. I'm in here uh, installing the ribs. I cut these ribs and the original plan was to actually make them out of three pieces. So one piece at the end here, one piece in the middle and one piece at the other end. And I thought well we might as well try just uh, putting one in there and see if it bends. I tried it and it actually worked really well and the big advantage of doing this is there are already two holes here, these hexagonal holes which are perfect to fit riv nuts in. So they are installed there, and the tension that they provide is enough to curl this to the ends. So I don't actually need any extra bolts. I've done the old trick here. I've put a couple of bolts in, and I'm just going to press the wood against here so I know where to cut the holes. And then push on there. Oh shoot, I forgot to uh, put something behind it. Stop the splintering. Hello YouTube. Quick update. I fashioned some sort of tarpaulin over the back doors here so I can work under the carport without getting wet. Decided to move the Victron box. When it's up high in this gap here, I was taking advantage of this extra space. But what I didn't realize is this is 28 kgs of weight and this whole panel was moving a huge amount every time we went over a bump on the road. So by moving it down here it's a lot more stable. You can see I've stuffed some foam in behind us here as well just to stop the top of it moving too much. So what I'm going to do with the design for this is um, build this. This is going to be inside uh, the kitchen cabinet that's going to be here. So I've lost a little bit of uh, cabinet space but there should be enough room for the toilet to fit beside it here and then gas bottle inside the door here. 
So the other thing I've just done is using some pocket holes I've made this contraption. This is a frame that we're going to use uh, around the fan vent. So that's going to fit on here nicely and it gives, you can see I've uh, screwed on a couple of bits of wood to the sides of it so that gives it a bit more surface area to glue onto and also that's where we'll be screwing up the, that's where this piece will be screwed on. Next up I need to make up something similar for this round vent. So I want to cut, but it's not actually where I want to cut.